Hello everybody and welcome back to more Nuclear Throne. We are jumping in again. This time I'm going to go as, I think I'm probably going to go as like Skeleton maybe? It's been a little bit since I played Skeleton I think. I, I'm trying to remember like who I haven't played in a while. It's hard to remember, but I think Ske- uh, I, Don't you know what? No, I haven't played Robot in quite some time. Also, my goodness, someone cooked with that skin. Holy, that's amazing. Uh, we don't have a lot of golden weapons with this guy, but someone did actually- Tell me about something amazing that I could potentially do that I've never thought about. So, do you know how, like, once you get to loop, there's a chest that can transfer weapons to other characters? Basically, all I gotta do is find a good golden weapon, like a micro-machine gun or whatever. Whatever sort of cool gold weapon I want. And I can probably put it in there and give it to every character, which I just find to be an amazing idea that I very, very much want to do. Um, I don't know if it'll work, but I think it will, and I, ve I very much, like I said, I very much want to try it. Decided to go with the large explosion build here, because why not? Why are we only on 7 health, by the way? What happened there? But yeah, large explosion is very, very nice, makes our life a bit easier with this weapon. Also, certain other weapons get a lot better with this as well, but it does mean that boiling veins is slightly more heavily required. But I do think it's a good way to start, even if we don't get... Uh, the inverted areas quite as often, but if we can get boiling veins, then it won't be too bad. I think I'll go with that for now, um, and then I'll go with that as well. Nice. Honestly, there's such a good, like, selection of mutations now that it is a genuinely difficult choice knowing what to get. That was unexpected in the amount of damage that did to me. I don't know how I did seven damage to myself. Wait, I have to, I have to test this now. Yeah, how did I do seven damage to myself? I'm confused by that. Also, that, that explosion when you die with this is very beautiful. I, re I really like the fact that my um, bomb goes red just before it explodes now. I don't know if that's a new thing or if I've just not noticed it before, but highly enjoy that. Highly enjoy that. But yeah, I do very much enjoy playing as Robot because, I mean, he's a funny little guy. You can eat weapons, which is nice, but more importantly, you get higher tier weapons more quickly, and I love the idea of that. I did a run recently where I used the crown that makes everything harder, but you get higher tier weapons. I am potentially curious to try out them two, to, like this character with that crown, just to see what sort of weapons we start getting. Because like, if you can survive just a little bit, you can probably get like a tier 12 or so weapon pretty early on, which seems pretty awesome. But for right now, I'm very, very happy with this setup. I'll go through here, why not? It seems like a decent idea. Lovely stuff, you are dead. And we are through. Goddamn, the little bomb dude then scared the bejeebus out of me. For some reason I thought it was an enemy sneaking up on me, but of course it was not. Leveled up there again, lovely. All good? All good, baby. Okay, um... Thrown butt, um... Another HP slash ammo drop. And more rads when eating. Always heal when eating. That seems really good. That just keeps us afloat nicely. With the larger explosions, I can't really risk the jellyfish little ones killing me. Because if I shoot them while they're close range, I will perish my own self. Oh, dude. This, this area as this character with this gun. Not ideal. Luckily, we can eat whenever we want, although uh, for some reason I tend to choose not to. Okay, cool. Oh, we did get an inverted area as well. Nice. I will take a lance as like a backup weapon here. Um, we'll go with that as well. Lance can't open this, can it? I feel like i got to try with like every melee weapon because I'm surprised by which ones can open it. I feel the need to try. Really? I stood at an angle because I was like, that that laser won't hit there. And of course it did. Yeah, let's, let's give that a go. It's going to be very, very sketchy and scary. And I've, I've already almost blown myself up immediately. I do forget just how insanely aggressive they can be. But I'm like, maybe I'll just get like a really, really high tier weapon early on and then I can swap my crown. Or I might die. That's equally as plausible. Laser pistol is a very good weapon to start with for us here. 
just because of the piercing, especially if we get good old energy brain, as I've said before. Laser weapons and energy brain is like my favorite thing at the minute. Also, micro grenade is a bit more safer. Um, there it is. Right there, baby. It just feels so good to use. I like it. Double machine gun. A bit saucy. I'll do this again. Why not? Oh, wow. He, he, he got me there. Okay, cool. Right. Um, Go with that, shall we? That seems very good when we're taking damage a lot more often. Okay, get all these rads. I saw one of these fishies. Yeah, there you go. I knew you skulked off into the corner there. Wasn't very happy with you. Micro shotgun, baby. I like it, especially if we can get ourselves eagle eyes. That would be very, very nice. Eagle eyes seems to show up a reasonable amount. Boiling veins we have now, but we don't really need now. Um, absorbing pause is something I don't take very often. Okay, everything up here is deaded. Beautiful. And we got a Chaos One Eye on Cannon already. See, the tiers of weapons that are uh, showing up are already pretty good. But I choose to stick with what I've got for now. Even though the Eye on Cannon is a good laser energy brain weapon. The laser pistol is a little more easier to use. And I choose that right now. Ease of use is... Uh, preferable. Right, this is good because it can kill anything that he spawns. See, plasma rifle, I will take. Should probably get rid of the laser pistol from taking the plasma rifle though, right? The bouncy bullet guys are a real pain. Like... This is a lot of shit to deal with, my guys. Charge hammer seems like it would be kind of saucy. Suck cannon. Yes. Um, I don't know how good the suck cannon is going to be, but it is an energy weapon, so it might be pretty good. I actually think defensively it's very good. Because I can launch back out projectiles that I suck up. Oh my god, the ammo consumption is insane, though. Did we have another weapon over here? Of course we didn't, baby. Okay, let's um eat this up just so that we've got something to use. This isn't good, though. What was this? A frost bullet flat cannon. Okay, cool. We got something as backup right now, at least. But defensively, I didn't realize the suck cannon could be so good. It's pretty gnarly. I keep missing this goddamn snake. Oh my god, there's so many weapon drops. Damn it, I thought I had more ammo left. Right, before we do this, what we got here? Auto bullet shotgun, yeah. Frost flare gun, fire line, flame splinter gun. Oh, there's so many good things here. Flame splinter gun is probably the, the best one to go for right now. It's a lot of good stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure we'll eat all of these when we go through, right? Yeah, we do, good. Um, okay, let's take rhino skin then. Laser minigun though? Unfortunately, our weapon is still cursed right now. Laser minigun would be pretty good. That is saucy, but unfortunately I can't take it for right now. Right, let's uh, let's keep going. The suck cannon is going to be really good for the boss, I think. Just to clear everything out and get it out of the way. I backed myself into a very terrible little corner there. Is 
seems to be going reasonably well. The noises that are being made are uh, interesting. Did you die already, dude? My god. How much health do you have? Right, the Love Bomber. I've never really used the Love Bomber before. It might kill me, but I'm intrigued to try it. Holy shit. See, this is why we got the Suck Cannon. Although it does not suck up the goddamn pink projectiles, which I kind of thought it would for some reason. It's also not killing as fast as I was hoping it would either. God damn it. Oh my god. This is scary. Ooh, Doom Launcher instead. Yeah, okay. I'll come back to you, laser weapons. I'll come back to you, I promise. <laughs> Doom launch is pretty good. They'll just kind of go out and do their own thing. The amount these guys fire is insane. I need to change my crown, like, immediately. I also need more ammo. I said that teapot took so much to die. Heavy shotgun, um, yes. I'm swapping out like crazy at the minute, but I'm enjoying myself. Right, it's time to change our crown, I think, because we've got two very decent weapons here. Um, unfortunately, neither of them are the weapons I want. Do you know what? No, I'm going to do one more stage because I really want a laser weapon. But I may, I may come to regret this. Okay, let's, let's get into an area where we can actually deal with this freak. I don't really think this is the best weapon for us right now. This weapon also does not seem very good for the tier it is. Kind of expected more out of the heavy shotgun here, but maybe it's more of a room clearing sort of weapon. There you go, we got it, we got it. Fire chain gun. That seems intriguing to me, and it's a tier 16 as well. This thing might be good with shotgun shoulders. These bats being more aggressive is no fun. To be fair, these bats existing is not much fun, because they go over walls, and I hate that. Shotgun's dead. Right, I need ammo and such. Okay, my god. This is this is a tricky run, but I'm actually really enjoying myself. Like I said, I want to play with this crown a little more often and try and get used to it, because I think it's a, just a fun additional bit of challenge. I know that I'm not exactly the best at like looping on this game, but still probably get better at just like the base difficulty first right but dude this chain gun's like not as good as i was hoping it would be i would have thought i'd be killing these guys like very easily and it's kind of not okay the lollipop is a, is a good backup that's a, that's a tier 16 as well Good backup weapon. Go with Eagle Eyes. Still looking for my energy weapons, though. Yeah, being able to shoot through walls and hover over walls is just a horrible combination. Okay. Oh my god. You got all up in my grill there. 
I'm gonna eat this up. I don't I don't care for it. I would rather risk melee only. Oh, do you know what? I didn't realize it was the boss. I immediately regret my decision. Oh, dude, can, can you not spawn cops on me right now, please? Is he firing extra bullets? Also, where's my red chest? Why is it gotta be all the way over here? Auto flare fire shotgun. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, we made it out alive. Give me a laser weapon, please. Right, what we got going on here? Holding only one weapon will increase your damage dealt to enemies by 20%, return 10% ammo, and add reload speed and max HP. That's pretty interesting. Taking crown, uh, taking crowns, curses, weapons, install laser defense system, um, curse pickups, attack enemies, eating curse weapons over heals once per area when taking lethal damage teleport away from enemies. I'm in intrigued by the install laser defense system. Only high tier weapon drops increase reload based on weapon tier. That's pretty interesting. Um, weapon drop, eating weapons as a 30% chance to drop a chest. Carry three weapons and replace active with four shot. Your active fires out your weapon. Okay, so it's between these two. I'm going to try the refined tastes one. Because we've got high tier weapons right now. So I'm like, maybe this will be really good. Eh, honestly, it's not. <laughs> I was expecting the reload to be far more noticeable. But the only having high tier weapon drops is good, though. Like, that will still help us. Right, just chill out, you. Big dogs need to be quenched. Golden bullet shotgun. Unfortunately, as good as that is, the tier doesn't actually matter when it's a really weak weapon. So I'm gonna have to stick with this. I wonder what tier the reload speed is noticeable, because right now it doesn't feel even like remotely good. It feels pretty meh. Man, he snuck that shot in. I don't know what that is. I think that's an infinite slugger, right? It looks like one of the infinite weapons. It is an infinite weapon. Therefore, I shall grab it. Oh, it's an infinite smart gun. That's a pretty interesting weapon, really. What tier is this bad boy? 19. That's it. Smart gun, while not the strongest, an infinite smart gun is... Uh, Pretty useful. I like it. Golden explosive crossbow. We're going to get a lot of golden weapons here, I think. Okay, I'm not particularly looking forward to the boss here, unless we get a really good weapon here. Ghost shovel. I think that's better than the lollipop, definitely. Yep. Destroys squares. What the fuck? Why'd that hurt me? Interesting. We'll see how this goes. I'm not particularly confident here. Yeah, this, 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 this whole reload speed for weapon tier thing. I don't know. I'm hoping it kicks in soon because right now it's, it's not, yeah, it's not very good at all. I feel like I got exactly zero reload speed out of that. Um, that, that weapon might have just been really slow, but even the lollipop felt pretty bad. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got some new golden weapons. Mainly the, um, 
explosive crossbow. That's what I want. Makes bolt marrow a lot better off the rip. It's annoying we didn't get a laser weapon back after giving up our other one. But it does seem that having robot plus this crown does stack. Which is mighty intriguing to me. Oh, really? I didn't realise I was out of ammo. Just, just kill me. Why, why, oh why did I use all my ammo up there? It's because I keep missing easy shots like this. Holy, I'm terrible. Oh man, stop dodge rolling, you little fiend. Right, we definitely need a secondary weapon before we do anything here. It may be a toxic revolver, but it's something. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm sad. <laughs> this explosive crossbow is not a good starting weapon. It uses so much ammo. I mean, honestly, rightfully so, it's a very good starting weapon, but it's still sad to see. Oh, poison. Linger less. Needle. I'll take the needle. The needle's pretty good. And away we go. Um, it's kind of a tricky one. Go with that. I could go with shotgun shoulders on the chance I get a shotgun. I'm going to do that. It's a bit of a risk because I might not get one, but I just love shotgun shoulders so much. And with higher tier shotguns like we were getting in the last one. It would be very, very good. A double disc gun. Hold up real quick. Just got up. <laughs> I just picked it up specifically to just end that man's career. That's pretty funny. Cool. Wait, there's another enemy left. Man, just teleport it to me. Don't make me walk all this way. Better not be a maggot. Okay, at least it's not a maggot. Cool. And I went this way as well because I can get easy access to pizza sewers here. Wherever it may be. At the minute I am unsure exactly where it is. But I shall find it. Not up here? It is up here, good. Cool. Pizza time. Um, Trigger Fingers is feeling like it would be better right now, but Plutonium Hunger is just too good not to take. And where's the last little Scooter Magootas? Auto Crossbow already, I think I'll take that. Dude, there's so many of these little fellas. I've accidentally killed a whole bunch. Ooh, I need some accuracy increase right now. This isn't great. Ion Teleporter. Hmm. Is this good? Feels bad. Oh, dude, these little fucking... Mm. How I hate this area. Shank gun is very, very good. Right now, I'm I'm all in for bolt marrow right now. Oh, dude, energy brain right as I got rid of that. Ion cannon there. I just love how much bouncing around this is doing. Radiation generator. Go 
start with that, shall we? Right, police, you're you've spawned in an annoying spot there. And I can't get my goddamn shank through the hole. Beautiful. Auto seeker pistol. I don't know, I think the shankman's probably better, right? I think so. Auto explosive crossbow. It's really trying to push this on us, isn't it? Okay. Opened up a little portal for us, lovely. Go with that. I'm trying to go for defensive stuff right now because I kind of need it. Straight on through. And this is the boss, right? We don't have a lot of ammo to fight him with, so. Flame cannon. I know that you're literally a dragon, but apparently this works. I don't know what's doing more damage, the flame cannon or this, but it seems like the flame cannon. Yeah, flame cannon's doing quite a lot. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm liking this path we're taking at the moment as well. <sighs> this is tricky. I think we'll go with eagle eyes. It's just overall an easier to use one. I like getting a few shank guns out while they're all asleep and then just letting that do its thing. This is the, the tier. This is where like things start getting a bit more crazy. Lightning flamethrower. I like the idea of mood swing would go quite quite nicely right now. My goodness. How this thing would be amazing on Elementor, whatever his name is. Oh, really? I, I'll be using my shank gun once things have woken up because it destroys projectiles. Oh, man, it's the rewirer. Gun is actually my child. Wombo Combo Sucker Punch. We've got shotgun shoulders right now, don't we? Oh, wait. Oh, cool. Some of my UI is, like, reactive now. I do have shotgun shoulders. Okay, I'll be taking this then. I thought I did. It felt like I did. Wombo combo sucker punch. And, the, yeah, the rewirer, as we've seen before, is absolutely insane in how good it is. Dude, I'm so dead. Oh, you've got to be... This game, man. This this game makes me want to absolutely end myself sometimes. Just dithering through, having a beautiful time, and all of a sudden, pow, you're absolutely burned. No, it's it, like, this game, obviously, with, like, any roguelike, it, there's a lot of it that's down to RNG, but this game has some really gross RNG in, in certain cases. Like, you'd, you'll just be chilling it and the boss will just spawn in the worst place while the enemies have also spawned in the worst place, while the walls have generated in the worst place, and it just, oh, it all leads, all culminates to, like, a really easy death. I'll take Mood Swing if I see it this time as well, I think. But unfortunately, we didn't get um, Bolt Marrow last time. That would have been really good. Um, I think that's just uh, throwing butts really good to take with the auto-eating at the end of the stage. Makes life a bit easier. 
just gonna ignore the thousands of bullets coming at me right now and pretend they haven't happened. Dude, no! He fired a bullet right as he died. Also, can we talk about the egregious amount of police, man? I wish you could use crowns without extra cops spawning. The purple is one of those things in a nuclear throne that I'm I'm not a massive fan of the idea of. Like I get it is part of the game. It's just kind it's kind of like Curse and Gungeon, where it's like if you're taking more power, there's a, there's a bit of punishment that comes with it, sort of thing. But still, I'm just like eh. Um, go with that, please. Thank you. This thing always has no ammo. Oh man, the extra damage you're getting out of that is lovely. This is doing us just fine for now. Extra feet, I guess. Right. Please, little whippy whippy, take care of everything for me. A good few triple machine guns showing up. Oh man, that was a kill. Oh, triple pop gun. Yes, please. <laughs> I'll take that, thanks. Ammo consumption through the roof, but do I care? Not at all. Of course I'm taking shotgun shoulders with this. Would I be a sane person if I didn't? Straight on through. There's Bolt Marrow as well. Okay. We got a few of the pieces. I'm definitely liking this with Robot. Mega Laser Pistol. Oh man. That speaks to me. Now we'll wait a bit because this is doing us really well right now. Ah ha ha. This is also very good. Hot pogo stick. What on earth? The danger level on this thing is high, but god damn is that a fun gun. But I, I, I'm sorry, but I cannot put this down. That would be just blasphemous with the amount of damage we're dishing out with it right now. Um, I think we go with that. What's this gun we got here? Auto shotgun, okay. Auto shotgun's okay, but it ain't got shit on what we got. In fact, let me just quickly eat up these, just for a bit of HP. Out of ammo, as expected. A lot of shank guns coming our way. And a super cracking gun as well. Now nah, I'm looking for tier 10s or higher right now. To replace what I've currently got. Unless it's like just literally a strict upgrade on what we have. That dude fires a lot of shots. Thank you for the extra drops. I wonder how many extra drops you end up getting from Flex available over the course of a run. It feels like quite a lot. Damage wise, you get a lot of extra damage from it. Double mini plasma rifle. That sounds very good also. But I need to decurse my weapon first. So I can put down this other crossbow. Um, Go with that, I think. Power bolt launcher. How does this exactly work? Oh, that's, that's kind of awesome. Oop, I accidentally started a bit of combat over here. My bad. I'm still going. Right, quickly take care of the detritus over here. So that we can swiftly take care of you. Explosive flail is nice. Come 
Come on, dude, die. There you go, took long enough. Plus, if Lil does use ammo, it's very long reload as well. I'm gonna keep it though. Bloodline. Oh, dude, the bloodline is very defensively strong for us. I've made a mistake coming down here, haven't I? No, okay, to be fair, this is doing enough damage to sustain us. Somewhat surprisingly. I don't know, is it the... Is it the... What was the other weapon we saw? The Okay, the explosive flail might end up being better. Right, there's a cursed chest up here, the heavy auto crossbow. Do we have bolt marrow? We do have bolt marrow right now. I'm going to switch this at this point, I think. Pop gun, you've done me well, but that's where shit gets real. I'm going to take mood swing just because we've got a lot of potential for mood swing to work for us. This does quite a bit of damage. Oh my god, there's so much going on over there right now. Get out of here, purple. Infinite machine gun already. You gotta like hit them with the very tip of the melee, though, to get like the full damage by the looks of it. And then another chest here. Laser wave gun sounds pretty fun. I guess we'll put bouncer on this thing. Oh, where the fuck did you come from? And why? <laughs> I feel so weak right now, health-wise. And I would be right to think that, because I am. Holy shit, that thing's insane. Don't kill me again, big guy. Uh, could you get off me, please? Shoving his bloody tongue down my throat there. God damn. What is this? Oh, okay. I like that. This thing isn't great. Um, I don't have eagle eyes, though, which is probably why. Oh, dude, these goddamn fellas are going to be so hard to kill. And by fellas, I mean bats. This is doing us reasonably well. But ammo-wise, it is not. <laughs> Dude, give me ball ammo. I hate it when you got like a really good weapon, it just keeps giving you ammo for the other weapon. Ultra pop gun. Yes, please. Ultra pop gun only uses rads though, doesn't it? So we need to level up pretty goddamn quick here. We do have enough to get heavy heart here. I'm gonna try that. I don't want to use my pop gun, really, because I'd rather keep my rad so I can level up. Where are you, exactly? Thank you for an insane amount of health. What on earth is that? What? Wunderstrass. I will try this out.
I like the noise it makes. Hey, there you go. Now we can use our pop gun to our heart's content once we get some reds. Plasma laser minigun. The ammo consumption on that is absurd. But I bet it's pretty good. Wait, is it 10? Ultra beam shotgun. Ultra beam shotgun. Yes. It puts like a rainbow shader on everything that's in it, including drops. For eating an ultra weapon, nice. Okay, so we don't want to go with that again because the increased reload uh, based on weapons here is just an outright lie by the looks of it. Uh, so I'm, I guess I'm going to take this. Even though I don't have energy brain going on right now, I don't think. This weapon's a lot of fun to use, though. This is why I want to do this more often, because I am not great at this game, and I don't get to see a lot of these weapons. Like, these, some of these weapons I just didn't even know existed. And so it's nice to actually be able to see them earlier on. What? Oh, it's this thing. I've had this thing before. What we got here? The Super Plasma Cannon. Seems reasonably good. Probably take that. Is the Super Plasma Cannon the, the one from the vanilla game? It is, isn't it? Unlocking so many golden weapons. Okay, I forgot that there's some of the weapons on the floor fire for us. Whoa! <laughs> that was all the slaps. Cool. We are Gucci. And fire off one of them. Oh, okay. Instantly almost died. Give me some HP. Okay, a little bit of HP. Righty her then. Have we already done that? We haven't, have we? Okay. And then I guess just more golden weapons. More golden weapons is always fun. Right. Okay, I literally instantly died almost. I'm going straight in here. I haven't used an ultra weapon in so long. That's what I mean about like the weapons just not showing up for me. It's, it's a bit sad that they don't start showing up a little earlier. Because I miss out on so much cool stuff. So much cool stuff is missed out on by me. This thing with shotgun shoulders is uh, pretty gnarly. Dude, the, the ammo... The cursed ammo keeps exploding on me at, like, the worst time. Ultra Charge Bow. Golden Lance. Gatling Flugger. Let's take this to the courtyard. Why not? We got a golden nuke launcher as well, beautiful. 
What on earth is that? Ultra Railgun. I might keep an Ultra rail Railgun to hand. Having two Ultra Weapons, though, doesn't seem like a wise idea. If I could have some health, please, that would be just beautiful. I, I genuinely have no idea what's happening right now. Yeah, that was just incomprehensible. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'll see you guys in the next one.